All right, greetings everyone out there in the wonderful, mystical, frightening, and exciting world of YouTube. My name is Nick Peterson and you are watching the Boring Review YouTube channel. This is a new channel. There's several faces that you're gonna see on the Boring Review channel. If you're new to it, which most of you probably are because we are a young channel, please show some love, like, and subscribe, and I want to try to build this audience up because I am just a regular school teacher and so is everyone else on this channel for the most part. And we just love movies, we love books, we love TV shows, but mostly everything surrounding that amazing, glowing, hypnotizing box that I have dedicated millions of hours of my life to. And so I would really appreciate you checking out the other content and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. But I want to talk today about why Marvel, or I should say Marvel Studios, the MCU, is just leaps and bounds above the DC film universe. So before we get into it, you're watching. Here we go. Boy Reviews! All right, so this is an exciting time for me and I'm sure a lot of you because Comic-Con has given us so much amazing things to talk about. We're going to focus on the MCU today. A few days ago, Kevin Feige and his team showed us phase four. That's right. We finished the first three phases of the MCU and they were magical. They were amazing. They were fantastic. Very few films in there, I would say, are subpar. All, their, all of them are enjoyable in some way. And this is where we get to our topic. Right here, I'm going to show you a shot of all 11 different properties, different movies or TV shows that they introduced at Comic-Con. There you go, we have several different things. We got Black Widow, we have the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, it's gonna be on Disney Plus, Eternals, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, that's gonna be a film, WandaVision on Disney Plus, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, that's gonna be a film. Another Disney Plus show is gonna be Loki, What If? on Disney Plus, Hawkeye on Disney Plus, and Thor, Love and Thunder. So there you have it. Those are 11 different things that were introduced to us. That is an amazing slate. Just got to say, do I think every single one of those are going to be a home run? Probably not based on the law of odds and whatnot. But when it comes to the MCU, I am super excited for their Disney Plus shows. I know there's a lot of gray area across uh, the world and their views on it. But so far, these guys can do no wrong. And what I feel about Phase 4 is interesting. We have a lot of new characters as far as the films coming out in the MCU universe. A lot of new characters that we know nothing about. And that could take some people into an area where they don't really want to invest time on new characters because they've invested so much on the previous 23 films. But for a lot of us, who love Marvel, like I do. I'm wearing a DC shirt. I got a DC poster here, but I also love Marvel. I got a Star Wars hat, which is owned by Disney, so kind of the same thing, but I got the Marvel sign right there. I have enough room in my heart for DC and Marvel and so many other properties. I just love movies. Again, why I created this channel. But for those of us that love Marvel, which I do, I'm excited to learn about these new characters. But then this is where the title of this YouTube video comes into play. This is why the MCU is not only, not only has destroyed the DCEU as far as comparison, as far as numbers, viewership, likes of the material, but also how, why they're going to continue to dominate. They have Phase 4 coming out, 11 different shows, which I believe is going to introduce us to a lot of characters that we're eventually going to love. And then when we get to Phase 5, which Feige barely mentioned at the end of that Comic-Con video. He mentioned in an interview with a guy from MTV. He mentioned in Phase 5, we are going to get Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Blade. We're going to get Captain Marvel 2. We're more likely going to get Black Panther 2. And then eventually we're going to get an X-Men film, Fantastic Four film, and then something called The New Avengers, which is I'm assuming is going to be the culminating film for Phase 5 probably even four and five. And that's gonna take us into the next five years of films 
where we're going to once again go on a journey for the next four or five years. And in the new adventures, I believe, this has not been confirmed, it's going to culminate into an awesome display of something that's going to make a whole lot of money and get us super excited. So this is why the MCU is going to dominate the DC continue because the DC is all over the place. And I call it the DC because the DCEU may not even be officially its name. But DC is all over the place as far as their films go. They, are, they have gotten a new Batman. They got rid of Ben Affleck after he was just there for a few movies. Uh, supposedly we're getting rid of Henry Cavill because he hasn't signed a new deal. And he's going to be um, probably pretty popular in the Witcher series. So he may not have time for DC, unfortunately. We have a new Suicide Squad, which apparently is maybe a reboot. So we're going to say goodbye to a lot of those characters besides Harley Quinn. DC's all over the place. Marvel, they have set a plan for the next five years after dominating for the last 10 years. And I believe after those five years, they'll have the next five years plan. And they probably have the next 10 years plan. This is just what they're telling us. And... This might be a good move for DC not to go to Comic-Con this year because they probably knew that Marvel was going to announce their next 11 properties that they're going to distribute either on TV or on film, and they don't even know what they're going to really do besides the next four or five. Now, I am excited for the Joker coming out this year. That looks phenomenal. The trailer looks amazing. I am excited for Robert Pattinson's The Batman. I really think he's going to do a good job. I love my DC. I love Superman and all those characters. And I get frustrated that they're getting schooled by the MCU. But that's why. The MCU has planned things out. So I'm excited for the future. Let me know what you're most excited about. I can't wait for some Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I can't wait to see how Fantastic Four, how X-Men is going to fit into it. Uh, we have a few videos here on Boring Reviews about our theories about how the X-Men are going to be brought into the MCU. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Especially with Wanda being told to us that she's going to be in Doctor Strange 2. That really fits into our theory, so check out that video. Check out other content, and like I said, help me grow this channel so I can continue to bring you content. And until next time, adios. Boy Reviews!